Goodbye does. B-U-D, B-U-D, put does in my washing machine. B-U-D does everything. This is Clayton Collier wishing you good day and good buzzing. Today you get more money for used fat. The fat shortage is worldwide. Everybody, every day, save every drop. It's worth your while. This is CBS. The Columbia Broadcasting System. WNBF in the Arlington Hotel, Binghamton. Open that door and talk and let me in. I'm a good-looking fur coat, want to save my skin. Protect your fur from moths and heat. And give your fur the coat storage free. Yes, store them where they're safe and sound until next winter comes around. Use McLean's Bank Vault's cold fur storage. Trial McLean's 41321 today. It's 2 o'clock. That's a sort of good tie. Sort of good tie. That's the purpose of it. Hi, everybody. Here's the question. Why is a hill like a lazy dog? Well, a hill is an incline. An incline is a slope up. And a slope up is a lazy dog. Slope up. Slope up is a lazy dog. Oh, Oh, that's a long one, isn't it? That's, a, that's right. I'll grant you that. It's greetings once again from the busy street floor of Grant's Department Store, 75 Court Street here in Binghamton. Once again, it's time for another session of questions and answers called I'll Grant You That. It is a raining out. Now, yes, the rain's beginning to come down there, but we're having a good time. It is a raining rain, you know. It's, it's hailing taxi cabs. And here, here to tell you how our quiz show works is the fellow who still thinks Shirley Temple is a church, Ed Scala. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Greetings, everybody, and welcome from your shopping headquarters, Grant, 75 Court Street in Binghamton. A group of smart Grant shoppers has gathered around our WNBF microphone to try their hand at earning some lovely gifts from Grant. Every lady interviewed on the program gets a pair of nylon stockings, and in, a, in addition to that, today, we're giving a string of Grant pearls to each lady who answers the questions correctly. We gave pearls the other day, and they proved so popular, we're offering them again today at prizes. You get a pair of nylons just for taking part in our quiz, and if you're smart, as all plant shoppers are, you'll win one of these lovely strings of pearls. Why don't you hold one up, Wally? I will. If you already have a set, why, you can exchange them for something else of similar value at Grant's big costume jewelry counter right at the front of the store. I know. So let's get started and see who gets today's pearl. Without further ado, here with our first guest is the man we call Dandruff, because he's always getting in our hair, Wally Buman. Oh. That's a thigh slapper. Oh, boy. Dandruff always getting in our hair. And uh, speaking of things that people's hair, look at this very colored hat here. Is that a hat? That's supposed to be. That's supposed to be a hat. What kind do you call it? I don't know. Many colored flowers. Oh, boy. What is your name, please? Mrs. Ray Tanner. Mrs. Ray Tanner. Where do you live, Mrs. Tanner? Helen Street. Helen Street here in Binghamton. Mrs. Tanner, that was easy. You were in a pair of nylons, just like that. That's nice. Very nice. Okay, I'm glad you like it. And, <laughs> and now, if you'd like to try your luck in earning those pearls, Answer these questions. First of all, according to the saying, well, you got me right up against the belt here, haven't you? Maybe I'm going to get one of those. Yeah. Want to move out just a little bit, please? That's fine. Thank you. According to the saying, what is a bird in hand worth? A two in the bush. Worth two in the bush. That's right. I'll grant you that. You're doing fine. One more. Tell me. What have the following in common? Uranus, Earth, Neptune, and Saturn. What are they? They're all planets. They're all planets. That's right. Very good. That's what it says here. They're all planets. I'll grant you that. Ed and I learned about the planets in meteor meteorology in the Army, you know. Oh, uh, yes. Ed had quite a time in the Army. He saw more action than Tommy Manville's best man. You believe that? Had a lot of breaks in the Army, though. They all healed up pretty well, yeah. Now, here's, here's your next question, Mrs. Tanner. How many are there in a baker's dozen? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fine. That was a close shave, wasn't it? Speaking of close shaves, <laughs> I, did I ever tell you about the young fellow who uh, who started uh, raising a beard on the installment plan? No. That's a little down at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sander, you've answered all of our questions correctly, <laughs> and if you wait a moment after the program, we want you to have a pair of nylons and a string of those uh, lovely costume pearls. All right, thank you very thank much. Thank you. All right, Ed Taylor, here we go. You put a beard on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Grant hiatus. <laughs> that ran out today, too. <laughs> I'm going to talk... Hats with flowers are in style these days, it seems. I'm going to talk to this lady who has 
Uh, two? Two roses yeah, in that. Did you make that hatch yourself? I certainly did. That's fine. How did I know that? I'm, I'm sure I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing. What's your name, please? Mrs. Fred Ellis. Mrs. Ellis? Yes. Are you from Binghamton? Johnson City. Johnson City. What does Mr. Ellis do? He works in the Leicestershire School of Manufacturing. Leicestershire School of Manufacturing in Johnson City? In Johnson City. Well, I never heard of that place before. I'm learning something today, too. <laughs> and this is Master Ellis, and what's your name, young fella? I'm Fred Lusby. He's Fred Lusby? Say him. Tell him your name. I'm named Philip. David Ellis. Philip. Philip. Sure. David Ellis. How <laughs> about Very fine. How old is he? He's three years old. Three. He's not going to school yet. No, not yet. <laughs> He's smart, though. He's running away from Gilman. <laughs> 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 We've heard a lot of comments about Wally Buma's tie today. It's a red one with black and white sword fishes. It's yeah. sort of good tie. Uh, that's the porpoise tie. Yeah. That's the porpoise tie. <laughs> We've got some questions for you, Mister. You're not nervous, are you? Oh, certainly not. Nothing to be nervous uh, about. You have a pair of nylon stockings already, uh, and if you can answer these three questions, you get a string of pearls. How about that? That'll be fine. Okay. How about this one? Now we'll talk about perfumes first. A mild perfume or toilet water is called what? Uh, cologne. Cologne. I'll grant you that. Absolutely. Do you like perfume? I certainly do. I, I like a few of them myself. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them leave me smell bound. <laughs> like the one well, Wally Newman's girlfriend had. It's called Night in Castle Creek. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> cologne gag. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, how about this one, Mrs. Ellis? A type of summer hat is also the name of a South American country. And can you tell me what that might be? Sombrero? Well, that's one type of summer hat, but a type of summer hat worn by a man, let's say. A Panama? Panama. I thought I heard that. <laughs> oh, no. Funny acoustics and grants. I heard that before you said it. <laughs> that was my echo coming back. <laughs> That girl came back before she said it. That's right, a Panama hat. Did you know you can't clean a hat with a black band? Yes, I'm yes, that's pretty sure. Well, you have to use cleaning fluid. Yeah. Well, here's one, Mrs. Ellis. A word meaning to kidnap and carry off to sea is also the name of a city in China. What might that be? Oh. What might that be? A city in China. <laughs> what do you suppose it might be? Could be Shanghai. It could be Shanghai. And I'll grant you that, Mrs. Ellis. It's been a lot of fun talking to you. And young Philip David Ellis. He's busy. If you wait till after the program, we'll have your nylons and your pearls for you. All right, thank, thank you, you again for coming. Okay, and here's the general question for everybody in our audience here in Grant's store. Now, Bobby Dunner, engineer, and Ed Scaler are going to watch for the first hand. And this is for a pair of nylon stockings from Grant's. First hand up, please. Don't shout out the answer. Here we go. Who can tell me? Oh, and this is a toughie. Yeah. In what city would you find Beale Street? Come on, Beale Street. What city? <laughs> First hand. What? What is it? What? No, I'm sorry, not London. No, what is it? Memphis. That's right. I'll grant you that. Want to meet me halfway, please? Oh boy. What is your name? Mrs. William Stannard. And in uh, what city would you find Beale Street? Memphis. Memphis. How did you know that, Mrs. Stannard? I don't know. Have you ever been to Memphis? No. Well, that's a very good uh, answer, and thank you very much. You live here in Binghamton? No, I live in Indycott. Well, we're glad to have you up to class today to the quiz, and even more so because you know the answer. So wait a moment after the program, we'll have your nine on. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Stannard. And now, at Scala, we got an answer. How about that? Beale Street in Memphis. And here's the little boy caught in a mic cord. There you are. Yeah, I'm caught in the mic, too. I have a general question. Where's a pair of nylon stockings to the smart grand shopper who can tell me whose picture appears in every copy of the Saturday Evening Post? Who can give me the answer? There's a lady over there. I think her hand went up first. If I can get around to it. Can you come around by the best bank and I'll reach Scotland for you? <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. I'll grant you that. And what's your name? Mrs. Ellis Haskell. Mrs. Haskell, are you from Haskell. Binghamton? Haskell. Are you from Binghamton? Chestnut Street. Chestnut Street in Binghamton. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for stopping your shopping to talk to us. Okay. If you wait last the program, we'll have your nylons for you. Thank you again. Are you ready, Wally? I'm ready. Say, ladies, don't forget it's Children's Week all this week at Grant. That means that everything for the baby, in fact, everything for youngsters up to 16 years old, is offered at prices far below the usual low grant prices. You save on diapers, training pants, little suits, dresses, and things for the baby. You save on sweaters, polo shirts, jumpers, and the other tags for the young fellows and girls, too. So take advantage of Children's Week at Grant, 75 Court Street. Come into the infants and children's departments and see the wide selection, counter after counter of values, all reduced to give you real worthwhile bargains, bargains for the baby. And here's a baby named Ed Gala. What do you say? <laughs> but he's no bargain. I'm, I'm going to talk to this lady in the 
rose-colored coat. I think she's got black platform sole shoes on. And what is your name, please? Harriet Dunlap. Harriet Dunlap? Is it Miss Dunlap or Mrs.? Yes. Miss, what do you do, Miss Dunlap? Do you go to school? I work for the Triple Cities Credit Bureau. Work for the Triple Cities Credit Bureau. Can a guy get credit down there? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Wally Buman's going to need it. I wouldn't mm-hmm. that. You better check up his credit standing with Dunn and Bradstreet. <laughs> yeah. Miss Dunlap, do you live in Binghamton? Yes, I do. Whereabouts? 76 Gaylord. Uh huh. Telephone. No, never mind that. Thank you. Miss Dunlap, we have three simple questions for you. They're really simple. Take a look at Wally. Have you met Wally Buman? I used Miss Dunlap. Have you? Used to go to school with Wally Buman. Fine. Uh, it's wonderful that she admitted it. I went back to the old school, you know, the other day, the old grammar school. Same old uh, desk, same old pencil box, same old shaving kit. Yeah. Fine old grammar school. Uh-huh. That's about all the comment we can make on that. Miss <laughs> Dunlap, according to a popular song, the girl of my dreams is the sweetest girl of all the girls I know. What's her name? Well, what do they call it? Uh, Mary. No, that's not the particular song I was thinking of. She's a sweetheart. I'll grant you that. And what, what's the rest of her title? The Sweetheart Mark. Of All My Dreams. The, sweetheart, the girl of all my dreams is the sweetest girl of all the girls I know. And the name of that song that I'm trying to get across sweetheart. to you. Sweetheart. He's sweetheart. Sweetheart of a fraternity. <laughs> you can tell me that. Mm-hmm. Sweetheart of... Uh, give her a help. Give her a help. She said, give her a help. That's uh-huh. good talk for a radio. <laughs> Sigma what? Let's put Sigma. It, Sigma. Hi. Well, uh-huh. let's close.